Hey, what's up guys? This is uh, Eric and Cindy, currently in our hotel here in Saigon. Very excited to see all the new street club things. So first of all, Cindy, why did you start the Eric Kim Forum? Uh, Cindy started the forum, by the way. Why did you start the forum and why did you start street club? So, um, hi everyone, I'm Cindy. As you know, uh, I am Cindy from the Cindy Project, but also a human being and an artist and writer and doing my PhD in Vietnamese history. So I started the forum because I love to learn. And I noticed that so many bright, excited photographers come to Eric's blog and come there and learn. And basically I saw it as like a university of which the students weren't allowed to talk to each other. And I was like, wait a minute, Eric, let's have a space where people that are excited and ambitious and ex ex curious to learn, talk to each other and create a space of learning and curiosity and asking questions. So one afternoon we made the forum together and built up Street Club as a way to stay motivated because I often find myself losing inspiration and motivation. Um, so secretly I check the forum <laughs> um, at least 20 to 30 times a day impulsively just because I love seeing all the questions and engagement, new threads that everyone's been posting. Um, and I am so excited to start off Street Club and see the photos. Uh, so we just wanted to do a walkthrough of some of the photos, our thoughts, um, get some feedback, and to keep encouraging all of you to keep shooting and keep working hard with uh, improving your photography. So, all right. there you so to start, shout out to Ryan. So what I like about the shot is I actually quite like how this girl's face here is cut off and just step out outside the frame. Hands out, I like this little pop of color, the cyan color here against the kind of the more pink colors and also the action shot here. The thing that kills it for me is this car in the background. So my suggestion would be next time shooting, just look at the background more. And because what you could have done is if you saw that was the strike in the background, crouch down a little bit, take a step to the left to have her obscure, uh, obscure her. But in terms of the dynamism, the photo feels very dynamic. And then we'll just switch off. Your turn, Cindy. Okay, um, so I love, so Craig, um, I like that you're doing, working on a project. Um, that's really great to just keep, you know, working on a project, getting people to talk. For this photo, I, I love the expression of these kids, especially you're kind of gone the moment. And you can kind of tell that they, you engaged with them and had a conversation with them and it's a nice moment. The hard thing about shooting kids, especially as an adult, is to how to like shoot them in a creative way that both captures their emotion, but also like could look good compositionally. There's kind of a lot of messy background in the bag. Either you can, if you want to make it a really clean background, either you can shoot like really high and just get the floor as a background, or maybe the sky and shoot from really low and crouch down and then shoot upwards. Um, any thoughts on this, Eric? Yeah, same same thing as that. The expressions are good and it makes me happy, but one thing to think about is, um, so Craig, may put the camera on the ground and shoot looking up, like Cindy mentioned, is try to get a unique perspective that perhaps no one's seen before. Um, I'll stop looking good, nicely in the lines. <laughs> uh, so look at this shot, Lisa, very, very impressed with the shot is Love the look in his face. I don't forget. Oh, cool. You click this. So I just love the look on his face. The frame within the frame is kind of stuck in this grid. Also, I love pork belly, so this looks amazing. And this woman in the background looking at you is kind of the cherry on top. The the, the color of the green against the uh, the red background, and the shirt here with the explosion, the triangles. I think it's it's a great shot. So the shot. Um, let's see. So for me, I love the emotion that's captured in this photo. So the obvious couple kissing, um, the other this other couple holding hands, and then kind of a distant shadowy figure. So you have three different groups of people. Um, I like how clean because for me, my, the attention just draws directly into these this hand holding emotion. Um, the background is a little bit distracting and not clean, but that's a street photo. It can't always be uh, perfect. 
I think if you, it's good like that you that you who is this Moss Levy? Yeah. Uh, you have a really great eye um, to notice the emotions. Um, I this oh yeah yeah you did. So the assignment was to interact with people and get five yeses five noes. That's okay. Um, it would be cool to like maybe if you follow this couple and like kind of engage with them some more just because it's kind of a nice moment. Uh, I think it works well in black and white as well. Great feedback, Cindy. <laughs> so these are photos from uh, Max. So looking at these three shots, Max, this one, this one, and uh, this one. This one's probably my favorite because it feels like very glam LA, I don't know. I like you. I actually quite like how it's a little bit blurry. It adds uh, motion and energy to it. Maybe next time you guys do is just crouch down lower to make her look even taller and more engaging. Here, the hand gesture is good, but there's too much messiness in the background. Next time, take a step to the left and shoot it more head on. And here, I actually quite like the down try to look the cigarette, the feel. Uh, once again, just crouch down lower because it looks like you're a pretty tall dude to get more of the emotion on his face. How is the photographer's reflection not in? Because it's shooting from the side to look into Oh, the okay. I was like, wait a minute. Okay. Cool. Oh, I like this. So this one's from uh, Ryan. Ryan. I think there's a few from Ryan. Oh, yeah. This um, one. I think this one was a strong Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ryan. I uh, love the colors here. I like this one the most. I don't know. I'm in like this graphical shapes phase right now, so I like the shape here is mirrored here as well so it kind of like nicely fits in this figure who's emerging from the the back of the food truck uh, good expression good colors um i think a little bit empty down here like i don't think this adds anything to the photo maybe because most of the action is kind of going in here it's amazing that like so many people can get so much work done in this tiny space love that story and here, um, in the second shot, yeah. I really love this hourglass shape here and this hourglass, like kind of this bookend. So it brings your eyes directly into the center of the frame. Unfortunately, like sometimes these are the things you can't control, like this pole sticking out of his head is a bit distracting. And maybe next time, yeah, there's so much negative space here. So I know it's kind of tough because I like the curve here, but it might've worked better as a horizontal shot just to see more of the expressions in their faces. So looking at this shot, uh, Vicky, I think this is a great example that often people look at photos and they're like, oh, you know, asking for permission makes it a worse photo. And that's kind of a silly thought because here you've asked for permission, but it doesn't look posy. So I think the thing is people don't like photos that look posed, but you could make, you could ask somebody for permission and get a photo that looks natural that does not look posed. And that's, this is one of the photos. So. I really get a sense of his emotion, his soul, like him daydreaming, and it's it's a photo that I think it's gonna age very well. Right. Ooh, Cisco, yeah, Cisco. I remember these when they were uploaded. Um, I I love these photos one because I've never been to Ecuador and I feel like transported there. Um, I love the colors and having the vendors also like against their what they're selling you also have this nice clean backdrop so the first one the second one the third one a little bit not as much just because you see um, some of this back alleyway so it's a little bit distracting out of all three I love the first one the most the first or second one but I think the first one um, just because you have kind of a certain like all these layers of the fabric and more shapes, these rectangle shapes, this triangular shape kind of pointing towards the face and the figure. The light's really sweet. Uh, the expression is kind of tells a story. This one's strong too, but it's, I think the fabrics add more to the story and more kind of layers to the story. Good feedback. Um, uh, Mezzo, I love, you probably had the best series of images. I love this photo. Just this nice curve, the blackness, the eye looking at you, the low angle, the expression space. This one's a great shot. Also, this one is probably like one of my favorites too. I like how you got a little bit of the negative space underneath the chain and just, he just looks so New York. Great shot. It looks like he has a flash too, maybe. So the last shot kind of kills it for me because you have two great classic black and white shots and you have a color shot. So it kind of kills the flow. 
I still think it's a great motion. I like the the red nails and the blue sky, but maybe just keep process that one to black and white uh, for consistency sake as well. Mm-hmm. But I think it's probably the, the strongest uh, three three images um, or those two first two images as a as a set. Um, yeah, San, uh, Sal Sanchez. I say Sanchez. Love this character. I love that you kept working with uh, him and seeing like either a really close crop of his whole body. Um, out of all th- all these three images, this one I think is the strongest. You get a, a little bit of your reflection, but also a sense of place with like the blue sky and the background. But man, his eyes and lips. His glasses, it, it's just really, like, all this, all the wrinkles, like, this is such a character, and you can tell, like, it just brings so much joy when I saw this photo, I was like, <laughs> oh, that's what, that's what photography is about. Uh, Rude Girl. <laughs> Great username. <laughs> I love it, it's just, like, a tough, uh, a guy who looks pretty tough, and just, the way he's gingerly holding this iguana, it's good that you had him in this black shirt against this here, I like the, the hand. It's just a very sweet moment. It's, yeah, it really puts a huge smile on my face. Oh, Thomas. Hey, Thomas. Yeah. Great, okay, nice portrait. Oh, this person is back. I actually quite like her toes are pointed inwards. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a little bit of a different positioning. Thomas. Oh, this photo, I remember this. Yeah, I think that's probably shot on film. Um, this kind of has like a, I'm not really sure when this was shot. I'm wearing these hipsters now. <laughs> like, in a poncho, I love, like, the surrealist, like, one-footed up with no hands and the ice cream truck in the bag. I love that feel. Oh, wow. This photo, though, you can tell the love between the, the dog and the dog owner. Um, you had some good feedback on this. So, yeah. it's probably your favorite, your best shot. And I, I think it's a great shot. The arrow here. Yeah. I love how the dog and the woman start looking the same, the way she's holding it, the dog loving it. The problem is that it's just too gray, it's too mushy, which means there's not enough separation between the subject and background. So here using a flash would have helped because it would have darkened the background and the light in them. Um, also, like, part of me, like, I don't, know if, I don't know how you shot this, but I think it would look better as a color photograph because her fabric just looks so colorful. Mm-hmm. Often when you're shooting scenes like this where there's so many patterns. If you're not going to use a flash, then I'd recommend shooting colors. So I don't know if you shot this digital film or whatever, but I still think it's a great shot, great emotions. Maybe just up the brightness a bit or something, but the emotions are just fantastic. I love that shot. All right, heading. Uh, last photo. Uh, let's see. Um, that's okay if you couldn't do the assignment this week. <laughs> uh, I love... I love that you crouch really low for this photo and getting capturing perfectly the main figure between the bars and the cherry on top for me is this lifted leg so it's in motion it's like she's running and that really adds to this like these parallel line dynamics so it feels like it's a photo like in active motion um perfect eye contact I think the only thing is there's a little bit of emptiness, but I, I think it kind of works, because I, I, looking at this photo again, I think it works just because she's like running away from something and kind of craft a story. I think if it was like negative space on the left side, it wouldn't work as much, but I think this, this works. Hmm. Um, so if Eric, you had to pick your favorite. So, my favorite, so first of all, congratulations to everyone for submitting and participating. I know it takes a lot of courage to, to share. Uh, your photos and also great feedback from everyone to one another. I think the first one's the best because it's the best looking couple. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I agree. Pretty pretty good looking that. couple. Yeah, is that the Vitruvian camera? <laughs> that is the Vitruvian camera shirt. <laughs> Except I heard this Air Kim fellow is quite controversial on the internet. I don't, I don't you like You can't him. get him on Instagram anymore. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, I yes, love uh, yeah. this. I think this is my favorite shot. Um, the one thing I, I was going to add to Eric's comment, when I saw this image, I love when there's real estate or like there's space in a photo that is all used with intention. So here, like, there's nothing that I feel like is superfluous that distracts. I'm easily distracted. So like everything, like from the edges, like there's no like random another person or flash. Like 
And the colors are really well balanced from the, like, the brightness of this pork belly and the redness over here to the blue in the background. You see layers of like the closeness of the, you know, there's like three layers. It just works really well. Your eyes travel around the photograph. I feel transported to Malaysia. The triangle shape, it's just, I think it's a superb photograph by Lisa, right, I think? Yeah, and also often when you photograph like these butchers or whatever, the photo's very boring, but here you really, I can see your soul in it. You made him smile, you made them curious, and you really probably worked the scene too. And once again, the triangle, the the horizontal lines, the vertical lines, the pork belly obviously is awesome. The bright orange color, the green, uh, the red, and just the expression. It just I feel like there needs to be more photos in the world that just put you in a good mood that are also composed very well. And I think you knocked it out of the park with this one. I think um, so. Congratulations! And uh, second runner up probably would be I love 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 um, Amezzo's photos. This dude here with the centered eye just looking at you mm -hmm. and this other like, <laughs> like, hey, I'm from New York, right? That's great because uh, I just love the consistency. And also I really love this one from um, uh, Cisco is just this, this triangle shape of this woman, all the colors, a great example of what they might call environmental portraiture. And so once again, congratulations everyone for participating. So for those people who are watching um, who you know, want to take part of Street Club, uh, like people were just watching on YouTube. Yeah. How do you, how do you, how does Street Club work? Like, uh, how do I, if, if I'm on Google, how do I get started? Yeah, so. So you, what's, what's the URL to the website? So it's forum.ericimphotography.com. Or you could probably just Google Eric Google Kim. Google Eric Kim Forum. Super easy to join, uh, sign up, you just put in your email, that's it. <laughs> what, what do you have to click? Uh, you would join. So you yeah. click on join and then you can just like, sign up and you use your name you agree to the terms uh so what are the terms apparently it's a plank page i know we haven't gone to the point of writing the term i think it's blank. please fill out the form below so all you have to do is put in your <laughs> social security number and um uh credit card no just kidding so yeah. it's um, a, i mean we made okay so <laughs> secret is that okay so it's like what 10 p.m 11 or yeah. almost 11 p.m right now we're pretty exhausted from the day but we really wanted we recorded this video already, but we yeah, fucked up the sound. Yeah, but we messed with the sound, so we love all of you so much that we sat down. We're like, okay, before we take a shower and go to sleep, we gotta do the street club video. Because we really believe in cultivating and cultivating your potential. And we like seeing all these photos, and not just the photos, but the conversations that have been started on the, on the forum. I'm sorry. Um, on the forum have, has been really inspiring. So we made the forum really for you. So make it your own. Feel free to start your own thread. Um, sorry, I'm like, our internet's a little bit slow right now. Um, you don't know how to use the forum. You gotta click the home button. Oh. Yeah. You can click my Wait, face. why is it not going? That's weird. All right, whatever. Right? No, no, because you're... Um, you okay, push, it's fine. It's lagging. Okay, lagging. Okay, anyway, so making your own you can click here to start a new topic like other people have created this keep one ditch the rest idea or posting links what are some of your blog. favorite i concepts or threads on the blog oh wait so, so let me just show this so okay. then you click a new topic and then you can select if it's in whatever category and then you just basically write your topic here and we can how do you upload a photo you can upload a so the uploading photo is a little bit it might seem weird um we gotta log in first but anyways, basically you, you just upload it, you click it, just make sure um, you push insert. It might not yeah, click. Yeah. Click, br um, click browse, browse, choose then... your filing computer and hit insert. It'll insert an H short HTML code, but it, we won't see the photo immediately. But right when you click up uh, post, it will show up. So yeah. don't worry about that. Works on your browser and your phone as well as the computer. So what are you going to do with my personal information once I sign up? Mm, there is no personal information collected. Your email. email. Are we, you gonna spam me? No, we actually no. We I, I forgot that we had people's emails. No, it's just like we just. It's just if you want to change your. It's for you to use if you want to change your um, account login. So, so our favorite um, threads that have started. I like to be. The keep ditch thread is really fun because it's just really simple. Like What's the concept? Started. So basically, you, you just... Oh my god, 450 comments? Yeah, people are just been uploading a few photos and then wow. and then just 
as keep or ditch. And then basically people that upload a photo, you want to write keep or ditch on the three photos before you, or you can go ahead and write more. I know that there's been some people who have been like been really active and that's really great. And it just is really nice to have a second opinion. Oh man, this image is so that's good on epic. Cypher boy. Yeah, yeah, all these keeps, right? So it's really encouraging. It feels nice, right? right? Yeah, you get, you the get keeps. all these keeps. And then someone gives you a dish like, why are you being no. so mean? So this is actually so much more useful than an Instagram heart or even a YouTube thumbs up. Or, you know, it's just like, this is really useful because you're getting feedback from other photographers. Um, that's one of my favorite. These topic discussions show like the most popular that's one. That's actually really useful, huh? Yeah. So then Street Club Assignment. Um... I like the why do you make photos too. Why do you like it's a good conversation. I've read everyone. I seriously check this forum quite a lot. So why why do you like this idea of uh, um, why do you make photos? I don't know if it's a conversation that people really have, um, both online and in person. So, I mean, it's it's always powerful to ask why. Like people ask me, like, why am I doing this? Why why am I doing research? Why am I in Vietnam? Why are we doing this? And so it's like really great to have that space to have this type of conversation. Uh, oh yeah. Hey, you never respond to my comment. Oh. So you said, Cindy wrote, <laughs> I make photos to communicate when words fail. Sometimes a simple photograph can convey my emotion and thoughts. Eric Kim says, why do you want to convey emotions and thoughts in your photos? So your question just actually just inverted what I said. But I want to convey emotions and thoughts in my photos because I want to connect with other people. I mean, Why do you want to connect with other people? The point of life is to communicate, to talk, to engage with other people. I think it's, I mean, I guess you can live by yourself and just not interact with anyone else. Um, that's your choice too. But I think life is not just your own life. Life is all of humanity. Life is humanity and animals and nature. It's being present on this earth and just embracing everything around you. So what's Street Club uh, week two assignment? I can't remember off the top of my head, but after this video, I will post the next assignment. So uh, you should post the link in the description below in the video. Yeah, yeah, I'll post it below this video. Um, sign up to, for the forum. Uh, I mean, joining Street Club is basically means everyone is invited. You don't, there's no like application form or anything like that. Um, all you have to do is create a forum account, upload your photo, comment, and leave critique and feedback for other people, post your own threads. So do I need to buy Street Notes to participate? No, no, you don't at all. I mean, it'd be nice because then it's like... What one. is Street Notes? Oh, okay, there are so yeah, many uh, questions. Okay. <sighs> I'm being tired. Um, what was your question? Oh, so I was saying something. So you said you do not have to buy street notes to participate. Yeah, so you do not have to buy street notes to participate because we'll post information. Um, the assignment, it's nice to have in your pocket to remind you. Now you can also have it on your mobile phone with Street Notes Mobile Edition. Um, also, it helps to support us. So thank you again for everyone who has purchased street notes or any of our other haptic products or... Um, Sign up for workshops. We really appreciate it. It goes a really long way to help us do what we do and keep giving back. Thank you so much, Cindy. Um, she's really the the force behind creating the forum and also the blog. When I was 21 years old, I was like, "So, why don't you make a blog on street photography?" And she's like, "Why don't you just do it?" I'm like, "Uh, but I don't know anything." And she's like, "Just do it." So, more of the story is. Nike's logo, Just Do It is Cindy's logo. Just do it, make stuff, make more photos, and share it. So don't just share it to the gram because that's, you're just selling advertising dollars to Facebook. Sell your advertising dollars to the Air Kim Forum instead. <laughs> JK, just uh, forum.airkimpasarabi.com. Thanks a lot, guys. All right. Bye -bye. Keep shooting. Keep shooting.